now I serve in Fort Jackson here in Massachusetts and I'm in the Army Reserve. You are a full-time student and then you yeah. every every weekend, mm -hmm. every weekend once a month you go in for active reserve training is yep. that correct? Well like they say you're always a full-time soldier and a full-time civilian okay. but once a month. Mm -hmm. Let's turn back the clock a little bit and tell me what decisions impacted you that made you join the military? Was it for money? Was it because you had family members that were in the service or do you like being in groups? What motivated you to join? I would like to say that it was to serve my country because, and actually a small part of it it was, but mostly it was financial. I had just came out of my undergrad and I had tons of student loans and the only way that I would go to law school and come here was to join the military. So that was my biggest incentive, financial reasons. So the military offers some kind of incentive with respect to your student loans if a young person were to join the military that yeah. you want to take mm -hmm. advantage of? Correct. They offer two options. One option, if you already went on undergrad, they would pay all your undergrad loans up to 20000 Or if you just started your college experience, they would pay for your college up to four years. So in your experience, do you believe a lot of young people are joining the military to take advantage of these educational benefits? Tons of people. Most of the people that I went to basic training with was that reason. It's financial. Putting aside the monetary benefits of the military, tell me some of the other ways you feel that you benefited from your service time. Well, when I went to basic training, I was just astonished as how much patriotism people actually have. And I have met such wonderful people, battle buddies of mine, that are going to be my friends for my whole entire life. And just the experience that you have going through somebody and through basic training and doing difficult stuff, and you just build a sense of like, oh my God, I'm doing something for other people, for my country. It's a good, it's a good feeling, and I'll, I'll never regret it. What role do you play in the Army Reserve? Well, I'm a 42 Alpha, which means I'm a human resource specialist which means that I work with people's pay, getting people promoted, um, when people want to get out of the Army or come into the Army, I basically handle all their paperwork. When you get awards in the Army, I make sure I do them, make sure that all the commanders sign, all that, all that stuff, that's what I deal with. Have you been deployed? We have been locally deployed. We have been to Fort Jackson, Fort Bragg, Fort McCoy, and one time we went to Kuwait, but it was for a slight, like, couple of days, and then we came back. Do you anticipate in your future that you might serve combat time? Well, my company right now, it's on what we call a fifth year, which means that for a whole entire year, we have a 50-50 chance of getting deployed. They pick two companies, so my, our company and another company, and from May to May, they could call us up at any time. Okay, now you are a law student. I am. And so what happens if you get the call that you're deploying? You've got to serve your country because that's what you signed up for. And then when you come back, you would pick up and finish up your law degree. That's the plan. Wow. Scary. Do you worry about it? Do you worry about when you have All a con law exam, for example, All that, oh my goodness, I might get that call? All the time. Yeah. All the time. But that's just something that you have to live with. And you have to live with that when you have a final exam and you have to go to drill on a four-day weekend and mm -hmm. you have to study. It's hard, but you just do it. What do you hope to do with your legal training when you graduate from the Mass School of Law? Originally, after going through the Army, I wanted to be a JAG lawyer. That's what I wanted to be, but now I like criminal law. I really enjoy criminal law. After being part of the mock trial team and having that experience in a courtroom, I really enjoy it. Well, soldiers defend us, and we say that lawyers protect our rights and defend Collide. us as well, so mm -hmm. I can see the similarity. Mm -hmm. um, do you believe that you are different than the other law students that you sit with in classes because of your military service, or do you think you're just like the other law students? I guess I would say I'm just like the others because I have the same worries, like do I study for an exam, how much do I study, how much time do I spend with my family, but it's a little bit different in the fact that in the back of my head you're always a full-time soldier and at any point your commander can call you, hey I need this for you, in a weekend I have to be out of commission for a whole weekend and not think about law school and, and usually in the weekends that's when you have time to catch up with your lectures, time to do your homework, so it's a little bit different and even more the army teaches you to be a little bit more meticulous about the stuff that you do. And That's a good thing. Yeah, and even in the Army, everything is acronym. Everything is an acronym in the Army. So I apply that to when I study. I make everything into an acronym. So every time that I need to remember something, 
I have acronyms for absolutely everything, and that's thanks to the Army. So how do you believe that you have personally benefited from your military service? It makes me a little bit more meticulous, and I have a more of an appreciation for the military and for the people that are soldiers and police officers and firefighters. It takes a special person to put everything to the side and to do something that you committed yourself to. And how are you benefiting and combining that with your experience here at MSL? In my work habit, I think it shows, and it's thanks to the military because they build that work habit. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu. Thank you.